it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn this is for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising and Venus and this is for you know whenever it resonates now keep in mind that not every reading is for you so with that said this reading may or may not be for you and the timing is fluid a butterfly a change for the better transformation it's a beautiful change Ooh, teapot deep friendship with someone of the same sex so this is deepening a bond with somebody that is the same sex as you does not mean that you know, it's a sexual relationship, could be a friendship, could be a mother. And you say you're a woman, it could be your early mother, it could be the best friend. You're deepening a bond with somebody of the same sex, could be a co-worker, okay? Um, there is a very positive change here. This is a card. Butterflies symbolize transformation. So you're going to be deepening a bond with somebody. A friendship, a friendship. So you're gonna, and it is it's with somebody of the same sex. I know people want to change it. The card says with somebody of the same sex, okay? Doesn't mean that it's a sexual relationship, however, okay? So what do we have for Capricorn? <gasps> I, you know, I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo or you have Virgo in your chart, but Virgo got this as well. So you also have a phone call that changes everything. So if you have Virgo in your chart and Capricorn in your chart, you definitely have a phone call that changes everything. Um, there is a phone call that changes anything. I mean, everything. Also, your finances are probably going to be going up. There's, there could be an increase in uh, money, okay? Uh, which is a good thing. So there's a phone call that changes everything that is coming. <laughs> Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So you have a soulmate here. You visualized it. You've called this person in. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If you are with somebody now, this may be your soulmate. There could be somebody else. Just saying. All right. Calling in your soulmate. You're going to be receiving a phone call that changes everything. This is transformation with the butterfly. This is a change for the better. While all of this is happening, you're going to be deepening a friendship with somebody of the same sex. What do we have for Capricorn? Seven of Pentacles is a card of investment. Is it worth it? Should I invest in this? This is the question. Moon. Wheel of Fortune. Well, some sort of fortune in the future. Things are definitely a change for the better in the future. This is a very fortunate, faded event. You are going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Let's get the rest of the cards. Knight of Pentacles. Your hard work is starting to pay off. the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups reversed right next to each other. And then we have the Four of Swords reversed on the bottom of the deck. We have the Three of Pentacles. So that's teamwork, working together, um, communicating, cooperating, uh, skills, learning new skills that are going to help you. They're going to help you in some way. You're learning some sort of skills. Anyhow, so things are going to change for the better. Being in the right place at the right time. You're going to, you know, I feel like for some of you, you're going to be, some of you are maybe getting an inheritance or getting some money, you know, uh, 
from a family member. We have the Ten of Pentacles reversed underneath the Wheel of Fortune. So there's some sort of money, family money. I don't know if it's family money or from the, from the sale of a house. Or something to do with the home. Seven of Pentacles or a family situation, family relationship. Seven of Pentacles in the past. It feels like it's time to relocate. It's time to go someplace else. Um, maybe there's been a relocation. There's been a relocation. Uh, this was a, this was a wise decision. If you have relocated, it was very wise. It was very practical. You're about to receive some sort of payout for you know deciding to plant your seeds wherever you've planted them. Okay, you're about to see some sort of reward. Um, I feel as though your intuition had guided you in the correct direction. I feel like you are becoming more spiritual. You have a strong uh, ability to manifest at this time. You know, you have a, you do, you do. You have a strong ability to manifest. You're in manifestation mode. Um, I feel like there is somebody in your past that, uh, is thinking about you. I feel like it could be a water sign, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it could be both. You definitely have somebody that in the that is in your past that is thinking about you. They're, they're wondering if they should uh, offer you anything. They're wondering, they, well, the thing is, is that they see, they see that your hard work is paying off. That's exactly what's going on here. There's somebody that sees that your hard work is paying off and that you are investing in other things. They see your investment, whoever this person is in the past. It's either a water sign or an earth sign. And they're thinking about giving you something, um, making you an offer of some sort. Um, I think right now there's some there's some sort of fear. There's some sort of hidden forces. There's some sort of uh, illusion. The, right now in the now position is the moon card. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Okay, this is this is all is not as it seems. Okay, there's some sort of illusion here. You need to look really, really deep right now. I feel like you, you're dealing with somebody that is not happy. Right, and it's interesting because the moon is darkness and the sun upright is light. So we got right now you're you are dealing with some sort of darkness in your life. There's a lack of clarity, there's confusion, there's false impressions right now. Right now, this is a false this is a false impression. It is lack of clarity, darkness, not seeing things as they are. You may not be seeing things clearly. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is unclear as well. They're, you're dealing with somebody that, ooh, underneath it is the King of Cups reversed. So we got the Moon, the Sun reversed, and the King of Cups reversed. We have Pisces, Cancer, Leo, and then Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Right now, you're dealing with somebody that is having a very hard time mastering their emotions. They are not very healthy. They're not very healthy. They are in a very depressive state of mind. They are probably very depressed. They probably have some addictions. They are having a very hard time mastering their emotions. They may be feeding their, you know, emotions with alcohol or drugs or something like that. This person is sad. They are sad. They are in a situation that is not growing. Um, but they're hiding it. They're hiding it. They're hiding their feelings. They're hiding it on the surface. You know, they pretend that they're happy, but they're not. So there is somebody that is pretending that they're happy, but they're not. It's a water sign or a, it feels like it's a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could also be a Leo. There's somebody here that is very, very, very unhealthy. Um, they don't, they, they bury their illusions. I mean, they bury their uh, feelings. They bury them. They bury them below the surface. They're, they're, they do. This person doesn't want to show their feelings.
In the future, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is a change of events. It's a change in destination. Destined change, of course. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles, moving home, short-lived success, financial ruin, complete ruin. Somebody is in a situation that is very uncomfortable. There's family fighting, family feuds. They're not getting along wherever they're at. They're extremely exhausted and fed up with the situation that they're in. <clears throat> they cannot communicate. You notice my throat is, is acting up. That is the throat chakra. And there's a lack of communication. I can see that with the King of Cups is in reversed as well. This is somebody that is emotionally withdrawn. They don't know how to communicate their feelings effectively. And they're suffering. This person is suffering. I feel like... Uh, Your per the, whoever this person is that we're talking about has somebody else around them. The person that is around them probably does not uh, make them happy with the sun card reverse. This person does not make them happy. There's no growth. There's no passion. It's cold. It's very, very cold. They're in a cold situation. It is time to relocate. And I feel like I feel like this person that you're with is holding on to whoever they're holding on to for financial reasons or for stability to have something to hold on to. I feel like uh, you have invested in something else. You have decided to invest in something else. And this person... Uh, isn't isn't happy they're not happy with your uh wow that wheel of fortune they're not happy with your with with what you're receiving or something like that the the middle card is the sun reverse that's not happy and that is another person i don't think it's you if you have been in a situation where you've been depressed, you haven't been seeing growth, you have been ha having some tears, you've been feeling sad, you've been depressed and sad and having a hard time mastering your emotion, things, emotions, things are about to get better. You have a destined change of course here that is bringing you something very, very fortunate. Page of Pentacles reversed. Chariot reversed. Death reversed. Both the Death and the Chariot card are transformations, which is interesting because they're right next to that butterfly card. But they're both reversed. Some somebody is holding on to something and it is getting old. They can't master their emotions. They don't have the discipline. They are in a place of fear. They don't have the willpower or the mentality. This person is weak. Okay, they're weak. They don't have courage. They don't have faith. They don't want to be rejected. So they're not, you know, that's why they're not coming forward. They don't want to, they're afraid. They're, they're, they, the page of pentacles reversed. You're dealing with somebody that uh, has lost their focus. They don't want to take charge. They don't want to put in the work. They don't want to put in the work to bring success. So they're in an unsuccessful situation, right? This is somebody that is lazy. You've got somebody here that, you know, has a wandering eye. You know, they don't really want commitment. They don't want to commit themselves to something. You know, they want to be with something that is easy rather than putting in work. So that's why they're at where they're at, where they're at right now. They're where they're, they are at right now because it's easy. And I feel like, I feel like you are, uh... I feel like you've started something new, yes. I feel like you have started something new. You're no longer focusing on this person. You're building a foundation right now. You're building a foundation, a strong foundation. And there's self-love here as well. I feel like you've found more love for yourself. This person that is hiding their feelings you know, on the surface, pretending to be happy, they are not happy. They are not in a happy situation at all, okay? They're hiding it very, very well. But your prayers 
affirmations and visualizations are bringing you together with somebody that you are destined to be together with. And I know that your hard work is paying off in some way with this Eight of Pentacles. Okay, that's hard work. The chariot reversed is a stop, a dead stop, dead stop, death with the chariot. The chariot is reversed. This is a dead stop. This is nearly over. Something is nearly over. This chapter, because the Wheel of Fortune is a chapter, this cycle is nearly over with somebody that does not have the mental strength to, they don't have the mental strength, they don't have the mental ability, they don't have the emotion, they're not emotionally available. This person, I feel like somebody is losing you. They're losing you to somebody that is more solid, more stable, more secure, somebody that is a hard worker. They're, they're losing you to somebody, okay? Somebody that is, is really going to put in effort. You have somebody here that is going to put in effort. Could be another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Could also be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Chariot reverse, that is a stop. It is a not going anywhere. Something is coming to a dead stop. I'm not sure if you are dealing, this is a dead end. Page of Pentacles reversed. The Chariot reversed and the Death card, that is a dead end. It's like a dead end. We have somebody here that, you have a cycle that is ending with a somebody that does not, this is not a leader. This is somebody that does not put in effort, that does not want responsibility. There's a cycle that is ending with an individual that lacks integrity. This person does not want responsibility at all, okay? They don't, they don't want commitment. They don't want to commit themselves to it. They don't want to do the work. So you have a cycle that is ending with somebody and they are gonna ha it's gonna be a complete total loss for them. For 10 of Pentacles reversed is, total ruin, total loss, extremely fed up, extremely tired. We got somebody here that is extremely tired and fed up. They are in some sort of situation that is very unhappy but they do not have the mental strength to move forward. So I feel like, I feel like this is nearly over. They can't make a move. So you, you're moving forward. You're moving forward. Wheel of Fortune is a destined change of course. This is being at the right place at the right time. Something is going to happen. You're going to be at the right place at the right time. Two of Cups reversed. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Two of Cups reversed is a separation, right? And the Eight of Pentacles not putting in any effort. Uh, separating from giving up. You are giving up. You are giving up. You're letting go of somebody that is not compatible they're not they don't want to put in any effort to hell with it this is definitely a roadblock it is a dead end not working out a partnership not working out so there's somebody here who is in a partnership that is not working out okay i mean that i can't it is what it, that's what that is and there's going to be a change because the Wheel of Fortune is a change. It's meant to be. This is a something here that is meant to be. I feel like you are dealing with somebody that is in a partnership that is not working out.
There could be some unfinished business. There could be some in unfinished business that you have to close up because tens are closure. You're completing a cycle with an individual that does not have the mental strength or the courage or the drive, you know, they don't have the drive to put in any effort. That cycle is ending with that person. And I feel like there's some seeds that you planted a long time ago that are coming to fruition now. I don't know if it's like seven or eight years ago that are going to come back around now. When was that? What? Figure that out for me. Hold on one second. Okay, it's 21. It's 120. 2013, 2014. I feel like there's some seeds that were planted a long time ago. Maybe even when you were a child. Maybe the age of seven. Something to do with seven. Oh, God. Ooh, I just looked on the bottom. Unexpected choice in love, okay? Lovers, okay? So this is an unexpected choice in love. Um, a choice between two. Somebody is making a choice. We have two people. This is a soulmate connection that are coming together. These two people are meant to be. We do have a separation though. A separation that brings two people together that are meant to be. Get prepared to receive an offer or to receive or to make an offer. We have an earth sign, I believe, whether it's you making the offer or receiving the offer. It could go either way. <clears throat> Somebody here is receiving something uh, that's it's a big, huge offer. There is somebody here that wants to invest. They do. They want to invest. I, don't, I feel like they want to invest in you. And they and it feels like this person has seen has seen you climb in some way this is a this is two people that these are kindred spirits this is a soulmate connection it's interesting because if you t this is calling in your soulmate this is an angel bringing two people together okay so we definitely have a soulmate connection here i believe that you know uh you have called in your soulmate. But, and there is destiny. This is, the Wheel of Fortune is destiny and so isn't the Lover's Card. So there is some sort of destiny here. But that Two of Cups is a separation from uh, a partnership that is, there's no commitment. There's laziness. There's somebody that isn't putting in any effort. There's no success. It's a dead end. There's no, there's no passion in these cards anywhere. None. Like there's no passion. There's no attraction. There's, there's none. It's cold. This is cold, okay? Anyhow, we have, we have a individual here who is... I don't know. I think they're losing you. I think that they're losing you. I think they're losing you to a soulmate because they have delayed. They have delayed. They aren't making any moves. They aren't putting in any effort. If you are confused, if you are in a state of confusion and you are feeling depressed and you are thinking you're going to be alone, the sun card reversed is loneliness due to disillusionment, okay? Not listening to your gut as well. You need to always listen to your gut. Make sure you listen to your intuition because your intuition is strong at this time. 
you have the power with that with that calling in your soulmate obviously you have the power to get whatever you want so i think that you have manifested something and you do have somebody that is going to uh change your direction put it that way this is the end of a chapter. Some of you could meet somebody at a stoplight if you're single. Um, unexpected choice in love. This is this is a option. You you're being brought together with somebody that you are strongly connected to this is a deep 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 connection it is see how deep it is i don't know if you can see it very good it looks deep to me it's deep there's a deep 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 connection here so i do believe that uh, you are in for a treat this is a strong sexual attraction as well so this is the end of depression, okay? I think your self-love, <laughs> because your self-love here has, is, has, is now bringing you some sort of reward. You know, when you focus on yourself and you build up your own empire and you uh, believe that you have the power to call in, you do have the power to call in. Anyway, I do think there's gonna be a phone call that changes everything and it has to do with a soulmate. So, good luck.